Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. Ed Kelly asks a question. He says, can Larry give me a quick step-by-step on how to transfer Sony video files from a CF card into FCP? Can he recommend a FireWire card reader because they don't seem to make them anymore? The answer is I don't have a recommendation for a card reader, but I do have a recommendation on how to work with CF media. What I recommend you do is that you do this in two steps. Hang on while I get there. Notice that I've got two hard, three hard drives. Macintosh HD is the hard drive in which Final Cut is located. My second drive, which is this one, is where I store my Final Cut Pro Documents folder. So that's my scratch disk system. And my third hard drive, which in this case is called Second Drive Webinars, but you could obviously call it anything you want, is where I store source media. Whenever I'm dealing with a tapeless project, whether it's a CF card or whether it's P2 or anything in between, what I do is I always store the entire contents of the card to my hard disk. And it's never the hard disk that my Final Cut files are on. It's always a third hard disk. It doesn't have to be. I recommend strongly that it not be the boot disk, but I do recommend that you store it to a separate hard disk. Notice I've created a folder here called Source Media. Inside Source Media, I've created a folder for each of my clients. Now, this would actually have the client name as opposed to Client 1 or Client 2, but the client folder. And then inside the client folder, I create a folder for each project that that client has asked me to create. Inside the project folder, I create a folder for every card that I shoot. And sometimes this will go 30, 40, 50 cards on some of the stuff that I'm shooting with lots and lots of cameras. I then copy the entire contents of the card into the folder. Even if I don't understand what the file does, even if I don't understand the file name, I never, ever transcode directly from the card into Final Cut because if for any reason I lose that transcoded file, I don't have a master file to go back to. Then, using the log and transfer function inside Final Cut, I'm going to grab the media inside each of these folders and bring it into Final Cut and begin editing. Final Cut will transcode it into ProRes which is a very easy format to edit, and yet my source media is safe on a hard disk, so if I ever need to go back and recapture something, or I deleted a file, or I didn't capture something I should have captured, my source media is there. The key is don't transcode from the card, because once that card's gone, you've got no backup. I hate the phrase, no backup. By the way, another program that's really useful I did a review on in a recent newsletter. It's from Imagine Products. It's called ShotPut Pro. And what ShotPut Pro does is it simplifies the transferring process of transferring media from your card into your computer. It's a $99 utility. It works really well. It does a better and safer job of transferring files than the Finder does. And I recommend it. My name is Larry Jordan. And thanks for watching.